What's up guys? Hope you're all having a great day. Back at it again here with a new tutorial video for you on how to add multiple seats to one object, including how to lay down on the object. Now there is a little error with the lay down feature, but it works good enough to show you. So let's uh, do a preview real quick. Let's see what's going on here. Hop in the world. All right, we are in game. Let's go see if I uh, can demo this real quick. Let me... All right, so we got a seat. We got a seat. And we got the lay down. And here, I'll show you with the mirror on real quick. It's probably gonna lag out the game, but you'll be able to see it a little better still. So we got the lay down here. All right, so let's take a look at how we did this and how to recreate it. So we have our bed object here. You can see we have one seat, two seat, and a lay down seat. They all are just empty game objects with two empty game, uh, child objects. So, let's look at the laydown. We have a VRC station and an Udon behavior, as well as enter and exit values. The laydown will be nothing special, except for we're gonna rotate this X value 270 degrees for our object, yours might be different, and we are gonna do uncheck the seated position. So let's go ahead and do that again. We're gonna create a new empty game object. We're going to add Udon behavior and a VRC station. The script for the Udon behavior is called a station graph. We will now create two child objects and rename this laydown2 and enter exit. Okay, so we're going to take our exit and put it kind of just out of the way. Right over here. Our enter is actually fairly important. This is kind of where the feet of the character are going to be, so we're not our head's not coming out the wall when we lay down on this object. And then the lay down itself can go right there. Okay, don't forget to assign these. Enter and exits to the enter and exit location on the VRC station. And I think we can test this out in game. All right, looks like we actually forgot to uncheck that seated. So don't forget to do that. Additionally, let's go ahead and make sure this X position is at 270. That works for, I know that works for this. We'll see, I'm not sure if it'll work for your object. You might have to fiddle with that value a little. All right, here we are back in game. Now that we have our X value and the seated off, and as we can see, it works. I'm slightly clipping the bed, so I need to move my enter position up a little bit. But yeah, you can see that works pretty much as intended. Um, the issue I was mentioning is once you lay down and you get up, you can't move until you click another seat. So just make sure you have an object you can click to that's in the seating position afterwards until I figure out how to fix this. And I'll update the description with how to, what you need to change to fix that. But I'm not quite sure at the moment. I fiddled with it for a couple hours and couldn't figure it out. So let's take one more look at everything. Alright. So we have our lay down empty object right here, x value of 270 with an udon behavior, station graph, and a vrc station script. You're going to want to uncheck the seated position and make sure your enter and exit positions are attached. Our enter position is at the foot of the bed and our exit is off to the side. That's all there is to it. 
if you wanted to add one of these seats, you simply just make another seated object with the seated down the same way. But that about covers it, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you learned something and it worked for you, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you had any errors following this, let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Hope you guys have a great day, and catch you next time.